So what we have to do now is set up column one, two, and three. Notice that column one is significantly larger than column two and column three. So out of our 12 column grid, let's say this is gonna be a five column space. So we'll just, where's our grid here? Uh, we're gonna jump out and create a new row and make three columns in that row. The first one is gonna be column uh, small uh, five. And then the second one's gonna be column small uh, four. And then the third one is gonna be even smaller than before. So we're gonna say column small three. Now, if we take five plus four plus three, it's gonna be 12, right? So we're still maintaining that 12 column grid, even though we have an asymmetrical design. So it's, it's gonna be, well, actually it's really cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like asymmetrical designs. All right, so now that we've got our three columns, we can make this first little guy here. And let's, let's make him, um, I'll just make him a div. No, it's gonna be he's gonna be a title. He's like an H5 or something. And then I'm gonna call him a small dark title or something. And a la une is what he is supposed to be. Alright, so there that is right there. I need to have this title, I think, on each of these. So I'll quickly put them in, and then this will also give me an opportunity to inspect my grid and make sure that it's lining up pretty well. Okay, cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, I want to style these things, and then I'm, it's gonna be a little bit a little bit heavier styles than doing something inline block. So let's jump over to our uh, project and create a new file, styles.sass. Good. All right, CodeKit knows it's there. We're gonna tell it to compile. No, we don't want it to output to uh, Okay, so CodeKit is saying, I want to output it into a CSS directory called and then styles, but I just wanna put it in the root because I'm being super lazy right now. So compile CodeKit, make us some styles.css. Okay, it's gonna be an empty thing, um, but that's fine. And then I need to go back into the head of my Jade and link it up. So I'm gonna say, link rel equals style sheet like what's just above it and then href is going to be simply style.css all right now let's check that we're working so i'm going to say body um uh, background red Voila, a red uh, background that we do not want. That's really nasty. Okay, but what we do want is to look at, what was it now? The, f the little class of small dark title. All right, small dark title, you are going to be styled like this thumbnail is, no, no, but this thumbnail is, Basically in a black box, white lettering, bold. So that's fine. So let's say background, uh, black, color, white, and not white space, stupid. Uh, padding is gonna be like, it looks like it's gonna be maybe like six pixels on the top and bottom and 12, 12 on the left and right. Let's see how that worked out. Okay, cool, that looks good, except for it's a block element and I need it to be, um, I need it to be just short as the text is. So I'm gonna say um, display inline block. There we go, now they shortened up where they should be, that's cool, but I want a little space between the navigation above it and that but i don't think that that should depend on that i think it should depend on these tabs maybe uh actually let's put that responsibility on the row so we'll say style 
Sorry, I'm doing inline again, even though I know I have a, I have a what style sheet hooked up. But what I'm trying to do is um, use only like repeatable patterns in that style sheet, and then just put everything else in line. I mean, there's how many how many rows of this big thing that needs some padding on the top of it? There's going to be one, so I'm just going to put it here. Padding, 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 top. Cannot type <laughs> my fingers. Uh, 20 pixels, maybe 10, 10 pixels. Yep, that's what we wanted. Okay, 